This lesson will be about probability, and probability is defined as usually a fraction where it is the number of outcomes in the event divided by the number of possible outcomes. So since we're dealing with a fraction, it generally it will range from 0 to 1. So our probability will be a fraction or a decimal. Um, and the zero means that the outcome will never happen. So if you have some, something with a zero probability, it will never happen. And if it has a probability of one, it means that the outcome will always happen. It's 100% certain that that event will occur. And so when we look at probability, we can have independent events and dependent events. And we're going to go over independent events in this lesson. And that is defined as the outcome of the first event does not affect the outcome of the second event. So examples of this would be like rolling a dice. So if you roll a dice three times, Whatever it lands on the first time has no impact on what it'll land on the second time or the third time. So those events are independent. And another example would be drawing a card from a stack and then replacing the card before you draw again. So by replacing it, you're not affecting the outcome of the second event. And so this differs from if you didn't replace the card, your probability of your second draw is going to be different because now you have one less total um, number for your possible outcomes if you removed the card and didn't replace it. So that would be, you'd use different equations for that. But for this situation, we're just looking at independent events and replacing the card ensures that you do not affect the outcome of the second event. So for independent events, the equations that we can use for finding probability of two events happening, if we say like we want to find the probability of event A and B occurring. In order to do that, we'd find the probability of A and we multiply it with the probability of B. And then if we wanted to find the probability of event A or event B happening, in this case, we would take the probability of A and add it to the probability of B. And so we'll see how these works. Um, work in this example. So in this example we have five cards and the cards are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So our total outcomes are 5. And so if we say what is the probability that we draw a 6 we know that our denominator will be 5 because we have 5 total outcomes and 5 cards. And how many of them will give us a 6? Well, that's easy. It's just 1. So we have a 1 fifth probability of drawing a 6. And then if we look at, let's say we want to find the probability of drawing a multiple of 4. Again, we know our denominator is going to be 5 because there are 5 total cards. And multiples of 4. So we can have 4 and we can have 8. Those are the only two values that are multiples of 4 in our set of cards. So that means our numerator will be 2 because we have 2 chances of the 5 that could be a multiple of 4. And now if we look at a different situation where we're going to draw two cards and replace them each time, this is an independent event. So 
so we can use our equations from above. Let's find the probability that we get a 2 and an 8. So our equation tells us we just find the probability of getting a 2 multiplied with the probability of getting an 8. And so we know the probability of getting a 2 is 1 fifth. And the probability of getting an 8 is also 1 fifth. So our answer will be we have a 1 in 25 chance of getting a 2 and an 8. And then if we look out the probability of getting a 2 or an 8, we look at the probability of getting a 2, and then we add that with the probability of getting an 8. And so, in this case, we'd have 1 fifth plus 1 fifth. So, when we use the OR situation, we have a 2 fifths probability of getting the, the numbers that we wanted. So this is just an overview of probability and independent events.